So you can see how the um, male anatomy um, stands from a, a basic point of view there. Um, the pelvic floor muscles reach from the pelvic bone right back to the coccyx. Um, unfortunately, in these diagrams, they're on side on, so it looks like it's just a strip of, of muscle. It's actually a, a, almost a hammock of muscles that um, helps control everything with the... Um, the actual organs necessary to come through the middle of them um, and you can see it just sits there quite just underneath it but sort of just where the prostate is um, and see how it, it where it sits when they're contracted it actually closes off the urethra um, so it's really quite important there um, and it, obviously the anus comes through there as well so I think the, the pelvic floor exercises are um, very important, um, but that is really Joe's area of expertise. Yeah, what I'd just like to add it, um, on to Sharon. So we've got um, within the pelvic floor, the two sphincters, one at the front called the urinary sphincter and one at the back called the anal or rectal sphincter. So we're going to be talking about both bowel and bladder continence today. So it's also really important to know, as 1.3% actually asked, where um, <laughs> the pelvic floor is. And so for, for most guys, when I meet them um, for the very first time in my physio clinic, uh, they don't even know they have a pelvic floor. And so a lot of them come in all dressed in a gym kit, expecting they're going to have to do some exercises lying down on the ground. But literally, we know that the pelvic floor is at the floor of the pelvis and it supports all the abdominal organs, the pelvic organs, and, you know, is very much involved in that balance and <coughs> consonance mechanism. It's also really important for breathing and um, sometimes these muscles are weak or too tight. Um, but generally when you see someone like myself in the clinic, we're trying to identify exactly what's going wrong and then to make a bit of a personalised um, program around exactly what we can do. So in Sharon and I's work, we've um, been spending a lot of time working together over about 15 years now, mostly on men undergoing um, prostate cancer surgery. But um, as Sharon and I have learned, there's so much more involved in the male urological system and the pelvic floor can do a number of crazy things at times. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's our wrap on the uh, anatomy of the pelvic floor. 